This video is brought to you with support from my patrons on Patreon. Hey everybody, it's Jimmy from the DIY and Digital, and today we're taking a look at how to get a servo working with an Arduino. Welcome back everybody. So today I'm gonna to do something I haven't really touched on a lot. I've done a lot of Arduino tutorials with lights and things like that, but I haven't really done anything with servos and servos are something that have a lot of uses in model rail running. So today I want to get kind of a base tutorial of getting a servo working down so that we can go on to more advanced tutorials later. So let's go ahead and hop into how to get a servo working for your model railroad. This is a servo, specifically an SG90 servo. They cost about $2 each and are very useful for things in model railroading, especially for things like slow throwing turnouts and grade crossing gates. For this tutorial, you're going to need a servo, of course, an Arduino, in this case I'm using an Uno, a breadboard, a 1K resistor, a momentary push button, and some wires with DuPont connectors. We start by connecting our power from the Arduino to the breadboard, connecting the 5 volt and the ground to the power columns on the side. Next, we place the button straddling the two sets of rows so that it will work properly. We then connect the 5 volt power to one side of the button and use the resistor as a jumper to connect the other side to the ground column on the breadboard. On the same row that you have that connection to the button, You'll want to connect a jumper from there directly to pin A0 on the Arduino. Now for the servo. With this type, you have three wires. The brown wire is ground, the red wire is power, and the orange wire is your input. I make sure to use matching jumper colors for this part. First, I connect the power and ground of the servo to the power and ground columns on the breadboard. And then I connect the input to digital pin 6. That's it for the build, now it's time to code. Okay everyone, we're in our Arduino IDE and what we're going to do today is we're going to build a basic servo program that's going to allow for the control of a servo and allow it to go to one position hold until it goes to until it's triggered again it's going to go to another position now this can be used obviously for throwing a turnout and it can be used for uh, moving the gate on a grade crossing so you can swap out the button push read for any sort of sensor so if you know how to do that we'll also be going over that in later tutorials but we're gonna go ahead and get started with our integer declarations. First one we're going to do is a constant integer, which means it will not change. We're gonna call that button equals a zero. And that is our, that's our button read sensor pin. Next we're gonna do int start one equals, and we're gonna start with zero for that. And that is our servo start position. So this is where you will change the servo start position and you're going from zero to 180. So a half a circle swing. So you can start at zero, you can start at 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 90 degrees, something like that. But that's where it's gonna start. Next thing we need to do is int stop one equals 180. So for this particular setup, we're saying 0 to 180. So doing that full half circle sweep. So we're going to do servo stop position. 
And then we need to include the servo library, which is one of the standard libraries. So we're going to do the hash key, and then we're going to do include. Then we're going to do our greater than sign, and we're going to do servo dot h. And then we're going to close that right there. And then we're going to do servo, we're just going to call this my servo. I based this off of one of the uh, basic Arduino sketches. So this declares our servo. And then we need to do int pause, which is going to be our position, our initial position is going to be zero. So that's where everything is going to start. So this sets initial start position. Now we can head into our setup. So we'll do void setup, parentheses, bracket. The first thing we need to do is serial dot again 9600, and that just starts the serial monitor. And then we need to do my servo dot attach, and we are going to, we connected our servo to pin six, so we're gonna go ahead and attach it to pin six. So that's how we say, so this will set the servo control to digital pin six, which remember is one of those PWM pins. Okay, so now we're going to enumerate some states. So we're gonna do enum, and since we're doing switch states, we're switching back and forth, I'm gonna call it switch states. Do a bracket, we'll do st underscore off one, comma, st underscore off two comma st underscore straight comma and st underscore turn comma so what we've done there is we have basically said these are the four states that our program is going to be able to switch in between so and then we're going to say switch states, switch state equals st underscore off one. And that's our so that just sets up our default state to off one. All right, let's hop into the loop. So we're going to do void loop, do our brackets, we're going to do this, and then we do int button read equals analog read button. So that'll give us the value of what is coming through the button, and we'll do a delay of 200, that's two tenths of a second. So let me go ahead and put those on there. So. Remember that's in uh, milliseconds, so 200 milliseconds is two tenths of a second. Then we need to go to switch. And we need to say switch, switch state. We're gonna open up a bracket. We're gonna say case st underscore off one colon switch off one and then the only variable it's going to have is button read so 
So since they're all very similar, you need to put a break right there. What I'm going to do, like I always do, is I copy paste. So we need four of these in total. So I'm gonna do one, two, three. And so first thing we need to do is switch this to off two. Then we need to switch this to straight. Let me switch this to turn. Then we'll spread all these out right there. Then we'll go to turn. So that is it for the void loop itself. All right. Now we need to hop into our individual states and we're gonna start with void. Oh, sorry, we do need to fix. One last thing we need to fix here is we need to change all of these to their various titles. There we go, so off one is switch off one switch off to, switch straight, switch turn. So we're gonna start with void switch off one. And then we're gonna put int button read. Parenthesis, put our curly Q brackets in there. And then we're gonna put my servo dot write in parenthesis start one. This sets the position of the servo to start position one. So that is, if you remember correctly from the start, that's this variable. So it's whatever you set it to is start one. So then we need to do if the button read, which we know in this case is going to go from zero to 1023, so we'll do if button read is greater than 500, your button may be different, it may go less than 500. So we're gonna switch that, and we're gonna say switch state equals st underscore turn, and that And that switches that over to st underscore turn. Now what we're gonna do here is we don't have to do much to change this to off two, so we're gonna literally copy paste it. And we are going to switch to void switch off two. And then we need to switch to stop one. And then once it's done, it's gonna switch it to straight. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is void switch turn. Then we'll do our int button read. Then we're gonna do a for statement. So what this is gonna basically say, I'm gonna go ahead and type it out. And we're gonna use our position variable. For position equals start one, semicolon, to position is less than or equal to stop one, colon, position, adds one. And there's that. Put our bracket. And then we're gonna go to my servo dot 
right position. Then we're going to do a delay of 15 milliseconds. So that entire thing will go. And what that is is the servo will go from zero from start one to start to stop one in one degree increments every 15 milliseconds and then once that is complete it's going to switch to switch state equals st underscore off two And what that does is basically just turns the servo off. All right, so let's go ahead and copy that one because the straight one is going to be very similar. We're gonna do straight, and then all we need to do is flip-flop our stop, and then do greater than or equal to start one and then minus of equal to one. And everything else should be the same except it's gonna to switch to off one. And that's it. So let me go over basically what all this is doing. So four is basically what it says is that it's going to be like, for as long as this condition is present, it's going to do this. So let's look at the switch turn. So for as long as position is equal to start one or is between equal to start one or less than or equal to stop one, so in this case zero um, to 180, it's going to add one every 15 milliseconds and write that to the servo. So it's gonna move by one degree every 15 milliseconds until um, the position is equal to stop one, which in this case is 180. So, and it does the exact reverse with the greater than or equal to start one and then the minus of one. And that is how that works. So as long as this condition is present, then it will keep going. All right, so let's give it a check. All right, we're good to go. We can go ahead and upload this to our Arduino. All right, we've loaded our program. Let's test it out. You can see when I press the button, it goes to 180 degrees, its original orientation. Well, pretty close. And this is a little bit of a hardware issue. I've had this servo for a while. I press the button again and it heads back to the zero position. In this example, I adjusted the code of the start one and stop one to 45 and 135 respectively. And as you can see, the servo starts at 45 and goes to 135 and then back to 45. So that is how you get a servo working for your model railroad using a push button. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. This is going to set up a lot of things in the future. So I want to say a big thank you to all of my patrons. They're listed right here. You can become a patron for as little as $1 a month. I've got a link in the description below. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. Until next time, I'm Jimmy from the DIY and Digital. Stay safe. Be kind and happy railroading. <clears throat> ST underscore off one. Ooh, had a burp there. Uh.